It is believed that a Harwich and Dovercourt sailing club first came into existence in 1907 and continued for a number of years. At that time, Harwich had a lively boat building industry centered around hands, a family that later had strong connections with the club. But of the earlier club and its fate, little is known. On the 14th of July, 1927, the Harwich and Dovercourt Yachting Club was formed and in September of that year decided that Sailing Club was more suitable as a title and the name was changed accordingly. The club established itself at Phoenix Clee, ran a regular race program and began the tradition of the annual dinner. Sadly, few records or photos of this period survive except a group photo from the 1930s. The war came and it wasn't until the 29th of May 1945 that a committee meeting was held and the club was back in business. I joined as a full member after the war in 1948 when I bought my own boat. How many were in the club about that time? Oh no, not a great many. I just say about 20. At the end of the quay, Parkston End, we had a compound with a water, water gate with a handle and it used to seal at high water and then when the tide went out, all this water held in this compound was released. You didn't have a ramp, did you? No, we did have a ramp. And on high water you should tow your boat in with your dinghy on the slip and the trolley will already be down there. You put your boat on the trolley and then we pull it up with a winch, with a crab winch, under the reverse. So all hands, all, all, hands. all the club members yeah. used to help? Oh yeah. yeah. One weekend we had 18 boats up in one weekend. And we used to haul the boats up to clean them. But to get them out of the water, we used to come alongside the quay and we had a crane off a railway truck. The club had the chance to buy this water, it was a water bar, the navy. The water hoy, yeah, the water hoy. Yeah, and we got it over and it was right, we'll put the clubhouse on the barge. Oh, oh. Then one Sunday morning, everybody got there. We got some planks there and rolls and grease and pushed well, it. What's that? The old system where you, you put, put loads of the old. Yeah, what do you call that? Not dog grease. It's a heavy grease on yeah. between the planks. Yeah. And, and then some rolls. Up yeah. and, they... and we all hands. As I say, there is a fetcher down the club. Yes. And we push it over onto the barge. From the key. From the key. Over, over, over the edge. Yeah. On, uh, of the bar. We did have a few block and tackles, but mainly it was hand trolling. We yeah. pushed it right through. How many of them were you then? Ooh. 30 or 40, perhaps 50, you yeah. can't remember. When you going back. And then when that was on there and it was firmly anchored down, we floated alone from the club members. Each member did what they could afford to put the extension to make the club bigger. The flood of 1953 left a trail of devastation on the quay and 34 boats were damaged and 9 lost. Despite this, it is understood that members were able to operate some small boats and went to the rescue of people from their homes in Old Harwich and Bathside. Phoenix Quay continued to be the home of the club and is still remembered with great affection by a number of the members. In January 1985, the club was required to move owing to the building of the new A120 bypass. 
The bulk of the move was completed in one weekend and a new home was established in Gashouse Creek. Sometime in the mid 80s the barge sank and a great number of the club's records were unfortunately lost. The hurricane of 1987 saw considerable damage to boats on the quay, the loss of several by sinking and the salvaging and restoration of two others. And so we come to the club's 75th anniversary on Sunday the 14th of July 2002 and held at the barge where after a few drinks a short service was held including a lesson. As a lasting record, an embroidered hassock was presented to St. Nicholas Church. And some reflections on the history of the club were spoken. A magnificent cake was ceremoniously cut. And a beautiful banner was unveiled. With the end of the season in sight, the club returned the hospitality of the Stour Sailing Club with a lunch and open house for members and guests. As part of the year's celebrations, the club entered the Guy Carnival to celebrate its achievements and history. On one of the wettest nights of the winter, the members' wet weather sailing gear was taken out of storage and put to good use. Finally, we come to the Laying Up Supper, an ever popular event, and warm and well fed on the barge, members have a chance to reflect on the season, some more than others, the highs and lows of the season and the sailing, the racing and of course the weather. The club is facing a period of uncertainty and some change is certainly on the horizon. But the club is as strong as its members and as the moon rises at the end of this anniversary year, so the club will rise to the challenges at hand.